I've done really well on this sedge pattern. It works really well for brownies. Also grayling. Um, but it's just one of these flies that works well in the river, it works well in the lake. It just really works well. It's got that whole sedgy look about it. So um, it's one of these ones that if, he, if, if the trout are an actual emerging sedge, which they quite often are, um, a lot of them bears, well actually, they didn't show any interest at all in the adults. Not the majority anyway, the majority is taking the, the ascending pupa, which is kind of what this is tied to represent. Looks the part, it's got all the right colours, and it really, really sort of sings when it's in the water and wet. It just looks like the real thing, so let's go ahead and tie it. I'll start with a quite a large heavyweight grub hook. That says 10, so it's a size 12. I butchered that box. Um, so I'll just get him in the vise. Stick that hook in the vise. I've got a neat old tying thread. And just come in. Just make sure that's sitting right. And wind down the hook shank. Don't worry about neatness at this stage. Do worry about that for Steve. Um, and I've got this copper brown, this lovely copper brown UTC wire, medium wire. Take a little stretch of that. And I've got here a... Uh, Rubber glove, for all intents and purposes, is a rubber glove. And I'm just trying to take a wee slice of that because that's got to be in the back of my my nymph. So I'm just, I'll, I'll kind of do this on camera. I'm just taking a little strip here on my craft knife. I'll show you in a second. So I've got a little strip there that I've done on my craft knife. We just secure him on top of the hook shank. Now this stuff's fragile. But once it's in, it's in. It's fine. But just make sure that when you're tying it on, it's splayed around the hook shank like that. Then in with that copper wire. Okay, we've got the copper wire there. And we've got our rubbery glove. I'm not sure what that's made of it. It's original stuff for tying flies, um, shrimp patterns, etc. So now we come in and we're looking for the right colour. And the right colour for me is the Spectra Dubbin, number 22. A light cream colour. You don't want loads of this stuff. Keep that body quite thin. And just dub that onto the thread until you've got enough to take it up to the thorax. It might be too much. Let's see how we get on. Be careful of your that glove there. I mean, you can use sort of most shell back materials. Got to be fine. I just like the original stuff. It's got that matte finish, which I like. And just come up. So I've come up half the body or opposite where the hook point is. In here, I'm going to stick a whip finish and just leave it there. We'll bring up our um, the back. Make sure that you under tension secure it. So make sure it's even on either side of the hook shank, and then secure. Get rid of this waste. And then with this this brown, we've got a rib up. Nice even turns. I think that's even turns. Nice even turns. Up the body. Like so take your 
wire, a 45 degree angle, catch it in so it's the same thickness of the hook. Backed up to your starting point. Okay. Again, what I like to do is a little bit of whip finish in with my dabbing brush. Just get a few of these fibers out. I don't need a lot. Just a little bit, like you would with a shrimp. I've then got some woodcock. We've got to take a, a nice, quite dark feather um, for the wing here. Separate a feather off. There you go. Now, obviously, we didn't want all that. We just want a little tip. You have to be careful because it's quite fragile. So take a little end there, like so. And I'm going to catch it in with the fibers going back towards the rear of the hook. Because when I push it forward, the feathers will go the way they, it's supposed to, if that makes sense. So just now we stroke all the fibers back in with the scissors. Come behind and take a couple of wraps. Okay, and then what we do is we got a little loop, a little pinching loop here. So I've got a loop and then just secure that loop off. So you've got a loop of thread here just hanging loose. Okay, I then get my this is Mad Rabbit Dubbin. Try to line do that, Mad Rabbit Dubbin. And I'm then going to put a dubbin rope, quite a thick one, on that bit of thread that we had loose. And then just get it on there. Always give yourself enough of a length to work with. And then push it all up, right up to that wing. You can see that. So that's your loose, loose bit of tying thread. Just leave that park area out of the way. We can push that down later. So back up, and then we gotta get some more my draw bit dubbing and push this up to the eye. We've got to go from the eye back. It's quite bulky. And then we got to come through the thread again. So from the eye back up onto the feather. And with this thread, we got to pull in and secure all that, like so. We now got to bring the feather forward. Stroke your legs back. Don't be scared to get a little bit extra and push down. So stroking the legs back and pushing down. Like so. Pinch and loop. That will go either side. Come back on the feather like so. And then we come in with our scissors. We trim away this waist. So you've got the Feathers on top of the hook shank, like so, either side. Then we've got our dubbing rope. Push all the, the dubbing right down, as far down as you can, and then pull it over and it'll separate. Those wings either side, like so. Then we just tying thread and this is the the key bit to give it that sort of buggy look back up as far back into those um, legs as you can the fibers split a little bit far back into those legs as you can and then we've got to put a little little bit more of this dubbing could have a quite a generous pinch like this much. And then I'm going to wrap, pull back, wrap, 
pull back and just create that thorax area just like the the, the actual sedge and then give us a little bit of space at the front to tie off just a little bit make sure there's none of that dubbing on the thread oh you Luckily, I've got all this end there that I can catch. Give me your thread. Snip that waist bit off, and we've just got to tidy this head area up a bit. With it knocking the cowling off. That's him. Then you want that little bulb on the head because it's a sedge. If you have a look at the front end, it's got that bulbous head there. And then all we're going to do is we've got to come in and give this a bit of a, a rub down. With a Velcro, and you've got that perfect sedgy profile. A little bit of flourness just to finish off the head. Again, like I say, it's a sedge, so you're looking for that bulky head. You'll quite often see a, a bump of foam as a head in some sedges, but I just prefer this the way this is. And there he is, just a perfect profile for. Um, the emerging fly and again when it's wet obviously the legs come down to the side and just give it that perfect sedgy profile hope you enjoyed that please subscribe to my channel